Pincher, Newburyport's famous fighting dog was born on December 31, 1896, and was a large white and dark spotted dog that weighed 75 pounds normally and fought at 56. Pincher's sire was White Teddy, and his dam, Colby's Pansy was sired by Teddy Racine's Sam, the dog that beat the famous smuggler in 130, and also beat a son of Galvin's pup. Colby's Pansy herself was a winner of three fights. Pincher was a big, rough dog, and was reported to have stopped 24 dogs in his career, none of them able to fight him for over 40 minutes. Pincher was as great a sire as he was a fighter, and he sired Colby's bunch, Pincher's grandsire was Cockney Charlie Lloyd's pilot. Says Lewis Colby of this dog, when you're looking at this picture of Pincher, you're looking at the greatest dog of all time. First let's back up and see if you would agree that the pit bull dog is the greatest of breeds. If you agree on that then it would be a pit bull that would be the greatest dog of all time, and Pincher surely would fit that description. He had the most noble look on his face a look of honesty and depth. He too had the advantage of maturing slowly, as an old man named Parker who had a small farm on the outskirts of Newburyport took Pincher to raise him as a pup. And every six months or so J.P. Colby would go visit Parker and see how Pincher was doing. And he would ask Parker has Pincher started any fights yet, and Parker would sound no. So along about when Pincher was about three, J.P. goes up there one day to visit and Parker says well I guess you gotta take old Pincher back because he got a hold of a dog the other day and the dog running off dragged him through a barbed right fence and cut up his side. So J.P. says okay, I'll bring you up another pup and take Pincher back. So you see, by running at large like that for three years a dog just develops that much more and knows that much more. So anyway that is Pincher's early life. But in all the years JP had him, using him as a catchweight dog or as a tryout dog nothing could ever stay with Pincher, he was a terrific producer. Course he was big enough, being a catchweight dog I would venture to say that Pincher could have licked any dog that ever lived. Regardless of weights, because he was a big dog too. You're looking at what might well be the, the greatest dog of all time. There have been great stories about Cager, Webster's Joker, Twister, but Pincher could have licked them all. He was big enough and good enough to do it. Yet a little child could bite on his ear, or grab his tail, or try to ride him, and he would just turn around and try to lick their face. This is the true definition of the American Pitbull Terrier A.K. of the Nanny Dog. Keep the game in the game dog. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon to receive all video notifications, and don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks for watching.